Hi Gemini, it's Elle here to do your mid-August 2018 general reading. It's a general reading so it will not resonate with every Gemini. If it doesn't resonate with you, just go ahead and click off and just move along. That's alright. Um, thank you to those who have liked, shared, commented, subscribed to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, make sure you're commenting below because it automatically enters you to win a free reading with me. Winners will be announced August 15th via me going live. So I'll announce the winners. So I've got the cards pulled just for the sake of time. I have shuffled and prayed over the cards off camera. Um, firstly, what I was hearing for Gemini was just kind of like some of you are like uh, seeking the truth. There's some hurt. There's some despair and disappointment. There needs to be an inner maturity for you. I don't know what that's about. It needs to be a lesson learned here. A lot of you haven't gotten a lesson. Some of you are hanging in and holding on to relationships that have long been over. But you don't see yourself finding better, having better. But Spirit says better comes firstly with you. Whatever that means. Like you, I guess you have to do the inner work. It's not always the other person's fault. You know. Some of you have more than one partner. Keeping someone a secret. Keeping options open. Completely self-serving. Do know that what goes around comes around, and that um, we want to always be putting out the best energy for ourselves because it's coming back. So we want the best, um, so we want to put out the best. Oh, some of you need to learn the inner mature inner maturity or gets maturity, whatever. It comes. Will you learn how to control yourself and your urges and you get in control of wanting what you want and wanting to do what you want. The self-serving, self-pleasing way of doing things and attitude has to be put in check. It's almost like being like the chariot, you know, like the light and the dark, getting in control of that. Some, there's like that's a block for some of you that's why you can't manifest what you really truly want or you'll get something but it, it, it's not really what you want and you just hang in there oh almost because some of you feel guilty because you you do what you want to do also as the other person does what they want to do I don't even know. That's just, that is just a big old mess. Sounds like. Okay. <clears throat> Let's keep going. Um. Okay. So for love. We have at the bottom of the deck. The page of swords. So there might be some gossip. Some spying. Somebody cut something off. Or there's the communication is very short. It's very cutting. It's cold. It's almost as if someone has, it's like I got my eye on you. Something of that nature. Oh. Some of you feel like this is a relationship. If you're not spying, if you're not arguing, if you're not being cold, if you're not being calculated, if you're not being um, nasty toward each other, then you don't know what, how to be in a relationship. Some of you... you know kind of have um, this is the definition or the idea of what a relationship is you haven't been shown what a real functional relationship is you only know dysfunction alright okay Queen of Cups Knight of Swords 
three of wands page of cups um it looks like some of you could be dealing with the cancer pisces scorpio uh aries sagittarius and leo um they're coming to you with loving messages of oh they have their cup full okay that cup is full and it runs over for someone else and it's like almost intuitively and by way of spying you know that and you want the truth you just want them to speak it you want to say it you want to have a conversation yes it's confrontational but you you need to know because you want to know if you need to put this relationship behind you and move on or you want to know if this person is doing this if loving messages flirt flirtatious messages messages of likeness are going to someone else because it, the the communication between you and someone else is very cold and very distant and very short the communication is always hostile and it's in regards to maybe someone you or someone else spying Some of you are very self-serving and you are giving messages of likeness and love or whatever to someone else being very flirtatious. You put the relationship behind you and you're really pretty much concerned with you. You're waiting for your ships to come in. Okay, if, let's see if another spread. Alright, so this other deck has reversals. So some of the cards are reversed. At the bottom of the deck we have strength and reverse. Someone is not taming themselves. Like like um, I said earlier, somebody just can't get in control of the light and the dark. They want what they want. Everything is self-serving, self-pleasing. Everything is about pleasure and not about the greater good, the bigger picture. Because the inner work hasn't been done. King of Cups, Upright. Emperor in the reverse, three of wands in the reverse, three of pentacles upright. It looks like some of you dealing with water signs, fire, and earth signs. Um, however you slice it, whomever you're dealing with, there is a third party. This King of Cups is looking off away from the reading. Um, they no longer want to be that protector, that provider, that husband, that long-term partner. Oh, They're not even stoic or worried about what you're doing. They have dropped the situation completely. They, it, it's almost as if somebody wants out of a third party situation this could be you Gemini or the other person they want to build and have recognition elsewhere they're no longer taming for some of them you or the other person they're no longer taming how they feel about this situation and having strength upright about this they okay I'm here. Nope, they don't care anymore. This could be you, Gemini, or this could be the other person. Children may be involved. This may be um, the mother of your child, father of your, of your children. This could also be same sex. Um, you both are young. Yeah, you both are young. If it's same sex, you both are, you know, generally young. Mm. Okay. Advice cards. Be true to you at the bottom of the deck. That's pretty self-explanatory. Be true to you and what you want. Okay, then we have 
religion and spirituality. Oh, wow. I think I, I okay, so I heard that some of you are trying to use this in a sense to keep something together, a religious factor. Um, I don't know, it might be too late. Decisions, you have decisions to make, but I feel like you can only make these decisions if you get the truth, and that's what you're seeking by way of being confrontational and or spying. This is vice versa, also. End of an era, something's ending here. Someone is looking out into the horizons, looking at what's new and what's better. Uh, we talked about in the beginning, better, better comes when you're better, you know. Um, you got to do the inner work on yourself. For some of you healing from the past yep inner work on yourself you are stronger than you know you can get through this it looks like an ending it looks like it's like so prolonged here it's like it's almost drawn out it's as if intuitively emotionally mentally you know that someone has completely checked out whether it's you Jim now or the other person um, but you just want to hear the words Okay, if this reading resonated with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Um, know that I'm praying for you, Gemini. Pray for me as well. Take care, and I will talk to you soon. All right.